Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Chevy Boy back on the channel, and we are back once again on Demolition Derby 3. So, um, when I'm recording this, actually, is Tuesday, the 25th of February, um, about 9.20 p.m. my time. Um, and I know that it's been basically, like, literally three weeks since the last video I made, and I apologize for that. I've um, just been busy a lot with work, and there's been some other stuff going on. And it's just kind of been a hassle to record. So, but there are three cars in total now. There's the Sea Shark, which is based on, or in this game now, which is, so the Sea Shark is based on the Buick Grand Sport, the 1970, um, also known as the Buick Skylark, Sea Shark, Skylark, haha, you know. There's the Milano Super Grande, which you guys know. And then there's this thing, the Kenoto KO3. And the car I'm going to be focusing on today is going to be the Sea Shark. And I'm going to buy this, okay? Uh, I think it was 30 grand, all right? That's kind of weird that the split opens up with the hood. It's got a straight six in there, a V8 forced induction, and a V8 twin turbo. So there's no stock V8 motor, which is really interesting. Um, I was kind of hoping for that. But... I'm going to be jacking the suspension up. Oh, dude, you can see the freaking supercharger in there. Look at that. Yeah, no, you can see the blower through the actual cowl induction, so that's cool. Well, it's not really cowl induction, but through the actual uh, hood hood vents and everything. That's cool. Um, but no, the paint scheme we're going to be going with is going to be the traditional Buick Grand Sport yellow and black. And I think what I'm going to do... Because we don't have the proper Grand Sport colors, well, the proper Grand Sport striping, um, in Beer Money Games, or Beer Money Games, Mike, um, I, I'm, I'm begging you, please, you know, please put the, uh, or at least something close to the proper Grand Sport striping, that'd be nice. I mean, you don't have to, but, um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going with this, I think, because I go with, like, the motor and stuff a lot, um, so I'm going to be going with this. And the track we're going to be going with today is going to be the, uh, well, it's going to be my track, Over Under CB. And we're going to do nine or four opponents, full track, and we're going to get going. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't care about iFunny. No, and actually, in case you guys didn't know in this game... Um, there's actually a way to, ooh boy, somebody died. Uh, no, there's actually a way to stop ads from happening in-game, and that would be with buying cars with actual money. And I think I'm going to be doing that just to support the devs a little bit, you know, put a little bit of money in their pocketbooks, and yeah. Um, so, this car is actually really nice. Um, if you guys don't know... The Buick Skylark, which I believe is the base model that this car is based on. Uh, this is the very base model of the car. Like the Chevelle is based on the Malibu, which is a GM A-body platform, which includes not only this car, but also the Pontiac GTO and the Oldsmobile Cutlass 442, um, in case you guys didn't know that. This thing is a huge car, by the way. Um... But yeah, no, and, and this car is actually something that I've been wanting. Well, well I mean, like, because we were teased with an A-body car being this car. And I really wanted this car to come into the game because it was, uh, ooh, Lord. It, it was um, up against, I believe, the, um, oh, shoot, I don't even remember what it was up against now. Uh, I can't remember what car... Um, was competing for this in the polls. If I remember right, um, I don't know. Or no, it was the Dodge Daytona. That's what it was. Yeah, it was the Dodge Daytona. Um, and actually, we kind of need the wing for this car too. I should have put that on, but no, I really like this car. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of beating on it, but I don't care. Oh God. That's kind of cool. Sea Shark, Skylark. Well, I mean, I guess it flies pretty good, huh? 
<laughs> this car is beat all to hell though. Um, but no, I really, I really like this car. This car is a great addition. Um, we needed a little bit of GM, you know, a body love to go up against the Charger, and hopefully maybe a Grand, Na or yeah, well not Grand National, but we've already got a Grand National. Maybe a Grand Torino or something. I think was teased um, as a possible addition in the game, and that'd be really cool. So you'd have you know a big full-size Ford, a mid-size Chevy, well a mid-size Chevy, a mid-size Buick in this car and then going up against the mid-size Mopar and that'd be a cool way to go and do like an old school you know stock car race kind of thing ooh boy I like how the camera like just I don't know probably breaking this car into a million pieces right now but no I mean the roll bars work really well so Oof. Okay, well, I smashed the windows out and the brake lights. I mean, oh, man. Wait, hold on. What does the car look like right now? Oh, dude, look at that front end. That front end is just crushed. It is just crunched. I've actually seen a couple people on the Beer Money Games Discord. I think, I can't remember the guy's name, uh, but if you do watch this video... I think it's like Lil Pluff or something. Or Lily Pluff. I can't remember dude's name. Oh god. I don't know why the leg. But it, there's a ton of it. Um, but dude had... I believe it was... Um, this car in the stock orange with like white stripes. Which is kind of cool. Well it's, it's more like a burnt orange. Or like a copper almost. But yeah... I don't know. I really like this car. I'm really glad that Mike put it in. Um, there was some glitches um, that were fixed. I can't remember what they were, but there were glitches that were fixed. Mike said that he's working on a new map. Again, he's working on a new environment. Um, hopefully, we'll be getting word of the career mode soon. He said that it's being worked on. I think he has to talk to, I think it's Marvin. It's either Mad Mike or, um, I think that was Logan that just went ahead or above me. It's either Mad Mike or Lagalot. I think it's Mad Mike about the coding and stuff for the, uh, career mode. But it is coming, you guys. I promise it's coming. According to Mike, it's coming. So we'll see. Um, he's got a new track in mind. So that'll be fun. Oh, there's just body parts everywhere. <laughs> that sounded wrong, but... It's not supposed to be that way, you know. This big A-body just, oh my gosh. It's it's a beautiful sight to behold, honestly, because, like I said, I was, I was wanting a big A-body car. Like, because, so the Starlight in this game is based on the X-Platform Chevy Nova, you know, obviously, with the name Starlight. Nova, you know, Supernova, basically. And this car is basically a bigger version of that, more or less. Like, the Nova is just a smaller version of that. I don't know. Um, or the Chevelle, which is shares a platform with this car. But this car actually has the 455 Buick Old Pontiac motor in it, traditionally. Um, and this car, the Stage 1 was actually rated at, I believe it's like 360 horse or something. But, if I remember right, some publication, I think it was like Road and Track or something, they fudged the numbers or something way back when in a test against the Plymouth uh, Hemi Cuda. Something to do, I think one car, this car ran like a 13.6 or something. Can't remember the top speed, and the Cuda ran like a 13 seven or whatever it was it was weird i don't know but yeah no this car went up against the plymouth barracuda even though this car is technically a mid-size as is the barracuda but the barracuda was more camaro mustang territory if anything actually no the challenger was camaro mustang territory whereas the cuda was more of a street fighter with the um 
Yeah, it is Logan. Hi, buddy. Um, but this car was more of a street fighter against the Cougar and the... Well, no. Because the Trans Am was more against the Cougar and uh, the Cuda. But this car, I mean, I could see it. Like, the Chevelle was main competition was this car, the Pontiac... Um, GTO and the Chevelle so the Charger the Chevelle the satellite also I believe but I mean I guess it could go up against the Cuda I don't know in my opinion it should you know just stay in its market segment with the Charger and the oh there's Heidi drifting getting the rear out oh my lord Heidi's in a Sea Shark. The only other cars are Alex and Zoe in police cars and Sam and a Vader. How in the world does a Buick Grand National even come close to this thing? I don't know. You tell me because I have no freaking clue. Um, no clue whatsoever, you guys. So, that was my track in this car, and I told you I wanted to do it in this car. So, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Concrete Jungle. And we're going to go find some cops to play with. So, I mean, at least I want to find cops to play with. I don't know about you, but I want to find cops to play with. But this car, oh, that rear end, like, I don't know what it is, but the, that, like, boat tail kind of rear end just looks amazing to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I really, really like it. And I'm like I said, I'm really glad that Mike put it in the game. Oh, cleared it, cleared it. Boom. I probably just disintegrated front end. Oh. No. It, I mean. No, actually. And um, if you guys didn't know. The uh, Monte Carlo is based on the the, the uh, 70, I believe, all the way up to the 77 or so. Actually, even maybe even the early 80s Monte Carlos. Well, no. I think it's like 77 or something. They switched over to the GM uh, G body platform, but prior to that, they were actually all um, A body based. And I don't know. I, I really like the A body uh, Monte Carlos. They're they're they were more, I guess, segmented as being like luxury muscle cars, which fits considering the fact that that thing got a 454 big block in it from the factory so I wonder how fast this thing will go probably not faster than 155 yeah it's not going much faster than a 153 oh land it oh it didn't land it crap I was hoping it would land it it didn't it didn't I like those exhausts though and there was one guy that was actually kind of complaining about the leaf spring rear end. I don't know. Or the rear spring setup. I don't know. I like leaf springs. I mean, he's like, oh yeah, you know, modern, more modern cars, like the 80s cars and stuff, shouldn't be using leaf springs. But some of them actually did, so. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, is that a cop? That's probably a cop. No. Wait, is that a cop? That'd be cool, though, if we would get to be able to play as... Uh, that's a cop. As uh, the old cop car from DD2 again. That would be fun. Put that up against the old... Um, the Oldsmobile that's in this game. I think it's an Olds. You, eh, I think, I think it is an old. It's either like an Olds or a Buick or something. It's a GM uh, B-body car, actually. Pretty sure. But, oh, Lord. Okay, if you could stop skating now. Really? You you could have gone normal. Oof, what the heck was that? Okay. I don't know what that was. That was a bit weird. Um, alright. You guys saw that. I saw that. Alright, whatever. But no, yeah, what do you guys think of this car? I mean, um... I actually have another track suggestion. Oh, lord. 
it, it it's not a sea shark it's it's flying it's definitely a skylark um oh boy wow he clobbered me and there's also the racing mirrors oh crap i gotta find a hiding spot I gotta find a spot where he can't get to me now because I am royally screwed because now I only have three wheels and I don't know where to go at this point. Um, I think I'm actually back to square one where you start this. Alright, just go, just go, go, go. No, it'd be hilarious if like I could, oh gosh. Okay, what the heck? I don't know what's causing the frame drops, you guys. Oh, oh crud. Oh lord, there he is. Alright. Well, there goes my tail light panel. No, I gotta find a way out of this. Um, who knows? I don't even think I'll be able to get out of this, you guys. But no, other than that, I mean, I don't know. I really, I really like cars that you don't see very much in games, and this is one that I haven't seen in a game very much at all. But maybe it's in a bunch of games, and I just haven't played the games that it's in. I don't know. Oh, the hood's gone. Oh, Lord, he about died. Actually, no, he did die. All right, let's see if we can escape these, huh? Let's see if we can escape these cops. Come on. Yeah, buddy. All right. We escape the cops and we get the chest. 200 bucks. I will take it. Oh, Lord. Please tell me he didn't follow. Nope, he didn't follow. Okay. I'm sitting here, like, listening. I'm like, please tell me he didn't follow. So, yeah, no. What do you guys think of this car? I think it's really awesome. Um, you know, even as beat up and destroyed as it is, but... No, I mean, I like the Sea Shark, like I said. I, I haven't stopped raving about it. Um, I think it's really sick, so... Yeah, no, again, thank you to... I believe Mad Mike is the one who handles the cars. Thank you, Mad Mike. Um, that's a great addition. Uh, or it might even be lag a lot. I don't remember. It's one of you two, guys. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, Mike. Um, or in, in PM on Discord, whichever. Um... But yeah, no, I mean, I like the car, I like the style of it and everything, you know, like I said, we needed some GM love, because we've got a lot of uh, very, very common cars in games, you know, like the Charger, like the Camaro, I mean, you don't really see the second gen Camaro much, even the later ones, um, but, I mean, no, I love this car, you don't even see that very much. The first gen Civic you really don't see, the Daytona you don't really see, the Corvette, you know. But I mean, I like what they've done with this car list. You know, they've diversified it enough to where it's like, oh, you know, oh yeah, and by the way, we are, this car, I know what this is. This is actually a first gen Audi Quattro, I believe. First gen Audi Quattro. Um, and... That will be car number 56, so we will actually be on par with the list from DD2 when that comes out. Um, this will be going up on Wednesday, probably before I go into work, but because um, I had work today. I have work tomorrow, which is Wednesday um, when I'm recording this, and I have work on Thursday. I don't have work on Friday, so I'll probably record both this video, the video for these two cars. Uh, this one surprised me because i had no idea what this was and i'll tell you guys what it is but when i do the video for it but yeah no what'd you guys think um did you guys enjoy it did you guys not enjoy it i don't know you know let me know what you guys thought um where is the proper oh i say proper wing that's kind of the wing that should go on this car but it should be a heck of a lot longer well i say longer it should be a heck of a lot wider but there's really not a wing that, that is wide enough for this car. Which is a bit disappointing, Mike. Um, kid or Mad Mike, you know, I don't know. Whoever does the wings for this, can you give us a wider wing for this car? You know, one that actually covers, like, the haunches and everything? Because, I mean, not even that one works. So, um, 
I love the racing mirrors too. Like these actually came stock on the car, if I remember right. Um, you know, you can you can see the leaf spring rear end, uh, the off-road style tires I kept, the stock wheels I kept, obviously. Um, but yeah, no, like I said, I really like this car. <laughs> it's really fun to throw around. Um, it's pretty big and weighty. Actually, it reminds me a lot of the Charger. You know, but then again, like I said, that's also the same class as that it's in. Um, but the fact that this was an underrated car, you know, at 360 horse when it came out, and it was closer to the 450 horse or so of the Chevelle, you know, of the GTO. Well, I don't know what the GTO is rated at. I think it was like 430 or something. But, I mean... You know, it was it was higher up on the totem pole than what they what Buick rated it at, and that actually kind of fits with this car because you know Buick was always kind of that like ho hum grandparents you know grocery getter brand, and then with this car the GSX, you know stage one especially, that was a wild departure for them. As was, where is it? Where's the Buick? Or where's the other Buick? as was this car, the GNX, you know, um, the Grand Sport Experimental, I believe is what the X stood for, and this is the Grand National ex uh, Experimental, I believe, so, GS, GN, I don't know, um, I really like both cars, but having a big GM A body car and a GM G body car, both by Buick now, is pretty cool so yeah no let me know what you guys thought of in the comments or thought of the car in the comments did you like it did you hate it um did you like the paint scheme i mean i know it's really basic um i did the same thing with the router kind of you know same color scheme sort of but yeah no and actually um it fits in with the charger too so if we could get that ford car that i've or that gran torino or whatever that'd be a cool matchup like i said so but yeah, no, if you guys did enjoy this, let me know, and I'll catch you down the road. This is Chevy Boy and the Buick Sea Shark signing out. Peace, y'all.